Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. In times of Ramadan that when they're having difficulty because of their age or sickness that they beg Allah that to give them a relief, let them to complete their fasting and Allah send malaika, send malaika into their mouth, give them something that nourish them to quench a thirst. Never despair from the rahmah and the miracle of Allah that take a life in which you are an observer that asking continuously in our hearts, Ya Rabbi I know that your miracle is all around me, let me just have a heart in which to see it. And I see your miracle unfold at all times. We went on a ziyarat, how often you go anywhere and somebody sends you back money? is Allah's miracle. We went for ziyarat and whatever happened with this airline company, they sent us all back money. See? When you go as Allah's guest, the miracle continuously flowing, the food continuously flowing. In, in time of difficulty shaitan want you to run away, be by yourself, hide, have fear, the fear itself will kill you. Because fear is opposite of faith. Instead of running towards Allah running towards the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that remember nothing can happen to us that not written in Allah's book. No bad can come to us and no good can come to us if not written in Allah's book. That our job is to make sure that Allah is happy with us. And Allah's happiness, this is why the system and the secret of the system, everyone's seeking Allah's happiness. But why don't those other madhab crazy people, why don't they understand? Because awliyaullah come and inspire into our life, everybody wants Allah's happiness. But the secret to Allah's happiness is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Qulini kuntum tuhibunullah fattabiuni yuhibukumullah. Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be found. Did you find Allah If you fell in love with Sayyidina Muhammad you have found Allah You found that essence and that secret emanating from the beautific character, Rasulul Kareem, Jani Rahmah that every blessing is upon you because it is the reflection of Allah that when you truly, truly fell in love with Muhammadun Rasulullah and you realize that nothing, nothing is like unto it, nothing is like Sayyidina Muhammad every wali, every man, every person comes short from that reality, doesn't even come near a drop into that reality. When Allah said, when you found that, what you really found? La ilaha illallah. That you found Allah and that's why this Jani Rahmah, this immense love, this immense mercy, every reality and every secret when we're entering into the soul, see ourselves like armies of souls and there's a universal soul, a center of all energy that all energy has no mass, has no gravitational pull. Oh, this energy is going into one location of energy. And when that energy is marshalling like soldiers into that presence, it's entering into the heart and going deeper and deeper and what it finds in that heart. This is the heart of complete pure tawheed. In that heart there is nothing but La ilaha illallah. All our hearts are filled with imperfections and, and fears and, and a fear of everything other than Allah But that heart, that qalb al-Muhammadiyyah that purified and beatific light is the perfect servanthood of Allah And in, only in that heart is the true La ilaha illallah. That is the ocean of oneness and tawheed. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from these lights that run, run when you're oppressors to yourselves, when we are oppressing ourselves 
let us run to that reality and they have a Muhammadan name in which when you praise upon that reality their Muhammadan dress dresses upon you. So you have Muhammad Nazim Haqqani his Muhammadan dress from Sayyidina Muhammad that this paradise of Muhammadiyoon that when you make salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad the Muhammadan dress dresses that wali. And that when we say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad that dress is going on to those Muhammadiyoon whom are the family of Prophet So we say, Mawlana Muhammad Nazim Haqqani, Mawlana Muhammad Abdul Faiz Daghestani, Muhammad Adil. Their Muhammadan name is what pulls and partitions from that immense blessing Allah sending upon the Muhammadan reality. So by when we praise on that name and remember and call upon that name their Muhammadan dress begins to dress upon us and perfect our character. So even if you recite the awrad of the fajr by taking the app, fajr time, click on the fajr, everything of that awrad is a secret from the Sultan of Awliya on how he was told by Sayyidina Muhammad how to praise and enter into that presence. Not like our prayer in imitated, their prayers with their full ruhaniyat moving through the Divinely Presence, through oceans of time and space, entering into the oceans of light, entering into the heart and to the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad entering into Divinely Presence. Everything that been recited by their awrad is at that level. When we merely imitate it we are being dressed by it. That's why we say, Ya Rabbi I'm nothing, I'm no one. Let me take the dress of my shaykhs. The awrads and wazifas they have given to me led me to be in their intention. What intention I can make? I don't even understand anything Ya Rabbi, I'm going based on their intention. What their intention was for these zikrs, these awrads, these etiquettes, Ya Rabbi let me to be dressed by that. By the end of the fajr when you say, Ya Ahad, Ya Samad, Salli ala Muhammad this is a Nabi Ahmad dress. This is from the reality of Ya Ahad. Samad from Allah's ahadiyya, samadiyya, He created Ahmad His ahadiyya that is, is complete uniqueness to Allah He took from that. And then from His samadiyya that it's self-sustained and its sustenance only comes from Allah only relies upon Allah was the creation of Nabi Ahmad. So the alif ha from ahad, the mim, saad mim from the samad, this becomes his ahmad dress, mim dal. Alif ha mim dal. From the mim dal of the samad means the dress of the ahadiyya samadiyya dress of Sayyidina Muhammad that as soon as we recite that by the end of the fajr, a complete Muhammadan dress is dressing upon the servant in their fajr because it's not a fajr at theirs, it's a fajr at the station of the Sultanul Awliya. Mm-hmm. See we're like the, the, the ones whom are only achieving this by love. When we love them our souls are attached to their soul. As they're reciting continuously that awrad in the presence of Prophet when we imitate by love, they're dressing us from that reality. So by the time you come to Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Muhammad there's a Muhammadan dress that been dressed upon the soul, taking us to be from this Muhammadan paradise and giving us a Muhammadan shikl. That there's a shikl in which you have the look and the image of Sayyidina Muhammad This service that only Allah do they don't ask Ya Rabbi that we only do this service, we're asking to be eternally in service. That when our job and our work has finished here on this earth, awliyaullah taught us that when they've been granted this shaykh and this 
image of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah was sending throughout His created universes to represent the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad so that they can be eternally of service to the beloved Sayyidina Muhammad Means this life and this existence of ours, this never ends, these darajats never end. That what, what Allah infinitely will open is something unimaginable. Don't shoot for just your Islam that, oh I, I accepted this way. No, no, this Islam was for kindergarten. Say that, Ya Rabbi, I have to reach to Iman and Maqam al Iman is that you have to love Sayyidina Muhammad more than you love yourself. And that's why only Allah are teaching not from the level of Islam but they teach from Maqam al Iman that you should be at a place in which you love Prophet more than you love yourself. Then all those hadiths make sense where Allah says, I'm not in heaven, I'm not on earth, I'm in the heart of my servant. The only one who achieves servanthood is the soul and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So when we love more than we love ourselves, that's how to achieve. Someone asked, Yara, well, someone asked that, how are we supposed to achieve the love of Prophet By making the durood sharif. By loving, how to achieve this maqam is so simple, by loving Sayyidina Muhammad If you love him then you begin to praise upon him, durood sharif upon Prophet Think of how I'm going to do a mawlid, how I'm going to support a mawlid, how I'm going to, to do anything in my life but whatever Allah gave of my breath, Ya Rabbi I don't need to die now, I still have the ability to do something to expose the munificent station, Tahzim and Nabi to tell the world of this immense beauty that you have created, Ya Rabbi give me an existence to do that and to complete that mission in our lives. That becomes the whole sweetness of our lives by doing these beatific actions you are now gaining the access and the nazar of Prophet When you're making these durus and doing these actions Prophet is watching. The nazar and the gaze of Sayyidina Muhammad is the sweetness of our existence. If you're meditating and if you're in zikr and contemplating and you begin to cry, that crying is because Prophet is looking at you. That crying is because Prophet is looking at you. Every time the nazar of Prophet comes upon the soul, the soul begins to weep immensely. One, for the ishq and the love it has that it can't imagine that an audience of Sayyidina Muhammad is gazing upon it and two, that it's coming short. I feel shy that you're looking at me and I yet haven't done all that I should be doing and all that I could be doing. And there's an immense regret and sadness in that reality. So that is the beatific crying, that is the the beatific ishq that they describe and all these naat and all these praising. These praisings were all to verify these teachings. Their whole life was to show that beauty, to be dressed by that beauty, to get the attention of that beauty. Then they're flowing in that ocean of Prophet where his nazar is upon them, dressing them, blessing them, pulling their souls into that light. When their souls are entering into the light, Allah doesn't look to the surah. Allah doesn't look to your shaykh and to your form, Allah looks to the heart of the believer. That's why tariqahs come and talk about heart. Somebody think, oh I can make a du'a to Allah in these times of grief. Make a du'a all you want, you can call anyone you want. Allah looking to the heart and that's why Allah come and teach to perfect. If you want a du'a that is reaching, you must be in somebody's heart that's important to Allah When Allah look to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is your name there? Did you do anything that got the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad Just a grain of rice, his khulq al azim doesn't leave even a mustard seed unaccounted for. Did you bring a grain of rice for that love, a drop of water for that love? Then you are gaining now into the… your name being written into the heart, the Muhammadan heart. Mm. 
If you haven't reached to there, did you do something in the heart of the Muhammadiyoon, those whom their names are inscribed into the heart of Prophet and Sayyidina Muhammad disperses them on the earth that these are my ulul am, these are my ashiqeen, these are my ahbab. So many names Allah gave to their categories, they're not all the same. They're ashiqeen, all lovers. Some are ulul bab, the door takers, the door keepers. They have a key into the reality of the door of when Prophet described that, I am the city and Ali Babahu. So it means they have all these different titles. Is your name in any one of their hearts for good deeds and good actions and, and, and good characteristics? And that became the secret of the turuqs. That do something to get your name written somewhere good. That Allah looks to the heart, He's not looking to the form of His servants. He looks to their heart. So I don't want only Allah to look just to my heart, I want Allah to see my name in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And if it's slowly being into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad then I want it to be in the heart of all the Ahlul Bayt that we brought a cake for them, we showed a love for them, we, we raised their name and a day in which their names are forgotten, we publicize and publish their name that don't forget these names. These are the names that save you from Jahannam and Yawmul Mashar that when you have no one to call, say, Ya Rabbi I brought a cake, I brought a cake, I brought a cake. Not I came with my prayer, my prayer is thrown away. Ya Rabbi I brought a cake for them. How many times when they pray they call up, say, oh, I'm in difficulty and I'm sick, I'm not feeling well. Please reach to me, grant me a najat. I'm not worthy of anything but I brought a cake. I published and publicized your name so that it would never fall like a flag of honour and love because Prophet loved them. We love them more than we love ourselves. What little can we do? Spread their name with love and they reach to you, they reach to you and they say, because of that love we take every difficulty away from you because you remembered us on a day when nobody's remembering. You loved us on a day when people tell you, don't love these names, don't publish this name, oh you're this, you're that and label you. Say, I don't care for your labels, I care for their love. This way has an immense reality. Did you find your name in their hearts, in the companions' hearts, in these awliyaullah hearts, in the hearts of good people? Did you surround yourself with these people and these good people, did they love you and like you? And this is, this, this is Islam and the reality of Islam. We pray that Allah find our names in the hearts of those who matter and that He be pleased with that name and give us more. Give us more, give us from His Divinely grace, this Baba Rahmah and mercy to dress us, bless us. And if Allah dresses us to bless all whom we love and all of our families, our community and all whom love us in this deen, Ya Rabbi grant us in ajad and safety inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.